Starship Flight 8, a dramatic journey of triumph and disaster. Five, four dots, three dots, two, one dot dot. The ground trembles as 33 Raptor engines ignite simultaneously, unleashing 16 million pounds of thrust. A 400-foot steel giant, taller than the Statue of Liberty, breaks free from Earth's gravity with surprising grace. This is Starship Flight 8, the most ambitious spacecraft ever built, ascending toward the heavens on March 6, 2025. But behind this spectacular moment lies a saga of frustration, engineering brilliance, and the relentless pursuit of a dream that refused to be grounded. The journey to this launch wasn't straightforward. Just days earlier, on March 3rd, SpaceX engineers watched the countdown reach its final seconds, only to call it off with just 40 seconds remaining. A critical methane venting system issue threatened the booster's pressure stability. Safety first, always. The team worked around the clock, determined to resolve the problem. March 5th arrived with a new sense of optimism until Mother Nature intervened. High altitude winds, invisible to observers below, but potentially catastrophic to a rocket climbing at supersonic speeds, forced another postponement. Finally, on March 6th, everything aligned. As the mission controllers gave their final go calls, the launch sequence entered its automated phase. The deluge system activated, releasing thousands of gallons of water onto the launch pad to absorb the incoming acoustic shock. Tank pressurization reached optimal levels. The massive clamps holding Starship in place loosened their grip. What followed was both a testament to human ingenuity and a sobering reminder of space travel's inherent risks. The super heavy booster performed flawlessly, executing a perfect mid-air catch by the launch tower's mechanical arms a feat once dismissed as science fiction. Yet minutes later, the upper stage starship would meet a fiery end, succumbing to engine failures and propellant leaks high above the Earth. This is the story of Starship Flight 8, a mission that showcased both the remarkable progress and persistent challenges in humanity's quest to become a multiplanetary species. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, let's dive right in. Starship Flight 8, the main event, the pre-launch dance. As dawn broke over Starbase on March the 6th, the coastal winds of Boca Chica carried a mixture of salt, anticipation, and the lingering scent of liquid methane. SpaceX engineers, many of whom hadn't slept properly in days, moved with practiced precision through their final checks. They'd been here before, twice in the past three days, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Weather looks favorable at the pad, SpaceX confirmed through their official X account, a simple statement that belied the complex atmospheric calculations being processed behind the scenes. Upper-level wind patterns that had foiled their previous attempt had finally stabilized. The launch window was open. Two hours before liftoff, the propellant loading sequence began. This wasn't simply filling a tank, it was an intricate ballet of thermodynamics. Liquid methane and liquid oxygen both chilled to temperatures that would instantly freeze human tissue, flowed into Starship's massive tanks. The super-heavy booster, standing as the first stage of this colossal rocket, consumed the lion's share of propellant, thousands of tons of fuel that would power its 33 Raptor engines. We've had issues with methane condensation inside fuel lines on previous flights, explained one engineer over the comm system. Every connection point, every valve, Every pressure sensor is being monitored in real time. The team had learned harsh lessons from previous launches, where even microscopic imperfections had led to mission-ending failures. One hour before launch, the engine chill-down procedures commenced. This critical step involved circulating supercooled liquid methane through the Raptor engine's intricate plumbing, a preventative measure against thermal shock. Without this gradual cooling, the sudden introduction of cryogenic fuels to room temperature components could create catastrophic stress fractures throughout the engine system. The final countdown. The mission control room fell into a focused silence as the final go, no-go poll began. One by one, each system received clearance. Propulsion, go for launch. Avionics, systems nominal, go for launch. Flight software, all parameters green, go for launch, range safety, range is clear, go for launch. Weather, 
wins within acceptable limits, go for launch. At T minus 10 minutes, control shifted to the onboard computers. Starship became autonomous, its destiny now tied to lines of code and electronic signals rather than human hands. The launch mount's massive clamps began to loosen their vice-like grip, transferring the rocket's immense weight gradually to its own structure. The deluge system activated, unleashing a torrential waterfall around the launch mount. This wasn't merely for cooling, it was a critical sound suppression system. Without these thousands of gallons of water, the acoustic energy from 33 Raptor engines would be powerful enough to damage the rocket itself through sheer sound pressure. T minus two minutes. The methane and oxygen tanks reached their final pressure levels, a delicate balance between providing sufficient fuel flow while avoiding structural stresses on the tanks themselves. Engineers monitored for any signs of the pressure fluctuations that had scrubbed the March 3rd attempt. This time, all readings remained steady. We are go for launch, the launch director announced, his voice carrying the weight of thousands of engineering hours, countless simulations, and the collective hopes of a company determined to revolutionize space travel. Ignition and Ascent The staggered ignition sequence began at T minus three seconds. Rather than firing all 33 engines simultaneously, which would create unmanageable stress throughout the vehicle, the Raptors came to life in a carefully choreographed sequence. Each engine underwent a rapid health check during startup, with telemetry confirming proper performance before the next would ignite. At T0, Starship began to rise, initially so slowly that it seemed to hover just above the launch mount. The optical illusion of slowness belied the reality. Over 16 million pounds of thrust were being generated beneath this steel behemoth. Within seconds, the rocket began to pick up speed, clearing the launch tower and beginning its gravity turn eastward over the Gulf of Mexico. The sound reached the observation area several seconds after visual confirmation of liftoff, a physical wall of pressure that rattled windows miles away. Spectators felt the launch in their chest before their ears could process it, the deep rumble of 33 Raptor engines working in harmony. The upper stages struggle. While celebrations erupted over the booster's successful recovery, attention quickly shifted back to the upper stage starship, now well on its way to orbit. The initial phase of its solo flight had progressed smoothly, with all six Raptor engines, three optimized for sea level, three for vacuum, performing as expected. But at T plus seven minutes and 39 seconds, telemetry showed an anomaly. One of the Raptor engines unexpectedly shut down. Engineers immediately began analyzing the data stream, looking for the cause. Within seconds, a second engine showed signs of instability. We're seeing pressure fluctuations in the methane feed line, reported a propulsion engineer, her voice maintaining professional calm despite the escalating situation. Cameras mounted on Starship's exterior revealed the first visual confirmation of trouble, a small but persistent flame near the engine section, evidence of a propellant leak. The autonomous flight systems attempted to compensate, adjusting the thrust of the remaining engines to maintain course. For nearly 30 seconds, it seemed the situation might be salvageable. Then additional warning indicators appeared. The fire had spread, affecting critical control systems. The final moments, as the propellant leak worsened, the flames grew more intense, now clearly visible on the external camera feeds. The vehicle began to lose attitude control, its stable ascent giving way to a slight but increasing tumble. Onboard systems fought valiantly against the degrading conditions, but the cascade of failures had become unstoppable. At T plus eight minutes and 15 seconds, with Starship now visibly struggling and multiple engines offline, the autonomous flight termination system made its final calculation. With no path to recover the mission and the vehicle's trajectory potentially threatening populated areas, if allowed to continue its uncontrolled flight, the system triggered its last resort protocol. A controlled detonation separated the vehicle's propellant tanks, dispersing the remaining fuel and ensuring any debris would fall harmlessly into unpopulated ocean areas. The upper stage starship disintegrated in a brief but spectacular flash, visible from the ground, ending its journey in a manner eerily similar to Flight 7. Flight termination system has been activated, confirmed the mission director, his tone reflecting the bittersweet reality of the day's events. Upper stage flight has concluded. The lessons within failure. As the debris settled into the Atlantic Ocean, 
the SpaceX team was already mobilizing its recovery vessels. Every piece retrieved would provide valuable data for preventing similar failures in future flights. Initial analysis pointed to a familiar culprit. Engine-generated vibrations had likely stressed a propellant line to failure, creating the leak that ultimately doomed the mission. Today, we witnessed both the tremendous progress we've made and the challenges that remain, Elon Musk would later tweet. The successful booster catch represents a major milestone in reusability. The upper stage failure gives us our next problem to solve. This is the path to Mars. Indeed, despite the dramatic conclusion, Flight 8 had demonstrated remarkable advances over previous attempts. The seamless hot staging, the perfect booster recovery, and the longer upper stage burn duration before failure all represented significant steps forward in Starship's development program. Engineers noted that the similar failure modes between Flight 7 and 8 provided a clear focus for improvement. The propulsion system's vulnerability to vibration-induced failures would become the primary target for redesign before Flight 9. Additional insulation, vibration dampeners, and potentially revised engine throttle profiles were already being considered as potential solutions. For SpaceX, each failure contained the seeds of future success. Each data point, each recovered component, each lesson learned brought humanity one step closer to achieving regular, reliable access to deep space. The road to Mars remained challenging, but with each flight, successful or not, the pathway became more defined. The road forward Starship Flight 8 embodies the essence of pioneering spaceflight, breathtaking success alongside sobering failure. While the world marveled at the mechanical ballet of catching a 230-foot rocket booster in midair, engineers were already dissecting the upper stage's fiery demise, extracting valuable lessons from its remains. This duality, triumph and setback occurring within minutes of each other, perfectly captures SpaceX's iterative approach. They don't just build rockets, they evolve them through a process of rapid prototyping, testing to failure, learning and rebuilding stronger than before. The similarities between Flight 7 and Flight 8's upper stage failures provide a clear direction for improvement. As one SpaceX engineer noted, when you see the same failure signature twice, you've identified your next breakthrough opportunity. For humanity's interplanetary ambitions, each Starship flight, whether it ends in success or explosion, represents another step toward becoming a multi-planetary species. The progress is tangible. From catching massive boosters to perfecting hot staging, the technological foundations for Mars missions are being laid before our eyes. If you found this breakdown of Starship Flight 8 interesting, hit that like button to help more space enthusiasts discover this content. Share your thoughts on SpaceX's progress in the comments below. What aspect of this launch impressed you most? The booster catch? The hot staging? or perhaps SpaceX's transparent approach to learning from failure? Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for more in-depth coverage of SpaceX, Starship developments, and our journey to Mars. Hit that notification bell to be first to know when Flight 9 lifts off. Until next time, keep looking up. The future of space exploration is being written with each launch, each failure, and each bold attempt to push humanity beyond Earth's boundaries.